Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be doing a review on my Louis Vuitton agenda. And I have here the Louis Vuitton small ring agenda. As you guys could see, this one, I actually customized this probably like three years ago. And, and I totally love it. I totally love it for the fact that it actually, um, it'll give me an opportunity to like customize this agenda because I personally, personally love it. And I use this quite a lot. So anyway, right now on the website, you could still find it uh, in the My LV Heritage and I think that, I don't know, last time, if I remember, I paid around 500 US dollars. And now, it's, I think it's $600 right now, as of this moment. I just checked the website. So anyway, this is how it looks. I got this beautiful red color right here and the blue. I put some initials right there, which I didn't want it to show. That's for my privacy reasons. I don't know why. <laughs> and also right here, it is in monogram. I think they only do it in monogram though. And on the inside, I chose this beautiful, lovely fuchsia color. The beautiful, the color is amazing. Yeah, that's the reason why I, I, Got, I picked this color and also it has a tonal stitching right there. It has a gold hardware, gold foil right there, the stamping, which is made in France. The ring is also in gold. Having it for three years, it's holding up pretty well. It does still look like it's brand new after using it almost like every single day. I didn't see anywhere on the card slot right here because I never use it. And so far it's holding up pretty well. This part right here is bent, but that's just part of the wear and tear. At the back right there, it's it's looking pretty nice. And also at the bottom right here. But the reason why I did a review today, that's because uh, the other day, I checked my agenda, and for some reason, it does seem to look like the, um, this one is melting. The glazing is melting. As you guys can see right there, it's like, it's so weird. It is like, it does seem to look like it's melting. Okay, hold on. This one fell off. I'm gonna put it back so that we could go on right in front so this right here I saw somewhere right here as well so you guys could see that it's actually peeling at the bottom let me see it in the side not much so when I saw those smudges right there, especially this side right here I said okay this is just part of the wear and tear I have it for three years non-stop use and I think this one is holding up pretty well and um, I was wondering where did I get that this one and I was experimenting whether if it's just it's because it's three years old and when I touch it I when I touch the glazing right here watch when I touch the glazing it is very very soft look look what had happened so let me show you on the other side right here this one is plain and when I touch it with my uh, nails right here you could easily see look at that I said oh my goodness there is something wrong with the formula of the glazing that time when they uh, produced this in 2019. And it's actually, it's actually getting really bad right here in the side. Let me just try this 
right here and let me try to see look at that I mean I am totally surprised with the quality the reason why I'm doing this the reason why I'm showing this that's because I'm taking this to my Louis Vuitton atelier and have them check with uh, this item if it is defective or whatsoever because I paid almost $600 for this in uh, three years ago and that should not happen. I have a lot of vintage items. I also have several I, um, items on Louis Vuitton that I've purchased and I've actually never seen that before. And right now, I was astonished to see those marks right there like like that one right there okay on this part let me try this okay so that one is plain nothing okay let me show you yeah it's showing those marks like why is that happening see it's 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 strange when you pinch it you could literally see the glazing is coming off oh my gosh that is awful quality guys and to think that was in 2019 i i would have thought that the quality is is great back then so i also have here the pocket organizer i have this years ago and look it's pristine condition I didn't see any wear at the glazing. And let me try, try to pinch it as well. Okay, harder. Look, it shows, but not like it's not going deep enough. So let me try to erase it. And yes, you could still erase it. This one is bubbling right there. Let me try it. Okay, it'll show, but let me try to erase it. Yeah, you can. So I'm just giving you a little bit of a comparison. Let me try this on this side. See, you could see that, but if you try to erase it, you can. But this one right here, it's entirely different. So let me try to do it once again. Even just a little tiny bit. Look at that. Like, I didn't put so much pressure in it. Like, like that. It's, oh my gosh, this is melting. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's melting, guys. And then let me see the other one. Hold on. I want to show it on the camera. See? It's, it's not as bad see it's 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 intact right here right here right there i can see that but it seems like after a few minutes a seconds it'll go back on its shape so i could literally just wipe it but this one right here could do it but you can't no it's still there so anyway, so if you have this particular type of issues or problem, bring it to Louis Vuitton store and they try to evaluate your item. If they could repair it or replace it, I, I'm not sure. But in my case, I will be sending it for a repair. That's because this one is customized. So anyway, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.